Hello! It's 2019, everybody, and so you know what's at the forefront of everyone's minds. When anybody thinks 2019, they think the 25th anniversary of the release of Street Fighter the movie, the film that's very loosely based on some characters from the video game series. Oh, dear. You know, this film has a reputation for being a load of old shite, um, but there is a specific reason for that. It is a load of old shite. There's no getting around it, really. It's just a very confusing mess that's mostly a bit dull, frankly. And, inexcusably, the fights tend to be a bit crap, which is very, very bad for a Street Fighter movie. Yeah, there's not even a fighting tournament in it. It's all based around some sort of weird story to do with, um, sort of drug trafficking and taking over a small nation and stuff. It's very, very odd. And, of course, Jean-Claude Van Damme, the muscles from Brussels, plays William Guile, the American fighter for, for some reason. Doesn't even have the crazy haircut. Um, Connie Minogue is Cammy because... Actually, I don't think anybody's got an answer to that. The guy who played Vega looks the part. And Rail Julia, in his final film role, the mighty Rail Julia was General M. Bison. The M standing for... Micturation? I've got no idea. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not very good. It's one of those things, if you watch clips of it, it looks like a load of campy fun. But most of it's just kind of a bit dull, really. Um, Rail Julia's scenes, quite rightly, are the best in the film for the simple reason that he seems to get the fact that it needs to be a bit of a laugh and he chews the scenery and delivers everything like it's some sort of mighty Shakespearean speech. So basically, when he's on screen, it's fun. When he's not, Oh dear. And yeah, they do weird things with the characters. Like Chun Li is, rather than being a policewoman, she's like a, a journalist or something. And like Balrog and E Honda are on a team. And Dahl seems like a scientist. And Blanca is now Charlie Nash, but he's being turned into a monster by Dahl Sim. But Dahl Sim didn't really want to do it. I don't know. It's probably best we don't get too far into it, frankly. It is an oddity, to say the least. Uh, directed by Stephen D'Souza, the only feature film uh, on wide release, at least, unless he did some student stuff, um, that he directed. Because uh, he's like a really prolific 80s, uh, 90s screenwriter. He wrote Die Hard, uh, Commando, that awful Stallone Judge Dredd film, Hudson Hawk. So yeah, a bit up and down in the quality, but um, interesting nonetheless. But I got this box for Christmas from a friend, and I'll tell you what, I really want to bloody open it. So let's do this. This is, as you've probably guessed, the excitement of the hit movie, the action of the best-selling video game in a 90-card set. Yep, collectible cards from a film nobody liked. Ah, uh, good old upper deck. But look at the back of the box. I mean, that's it just sold, isn't it? <laughs> General Bison, something or other, needs you, wants you to do as you're told. Or whatever it is Bison's doing. The only thing I dislike about this image is the fact that, yeah, even the way he's drawn, Julia does look very ill, which is a shame, because he was a bloody fantastic actor. Anyway, let's rip this open, remove any potential resale value, and see if we can form a complete set. Of course we won't. There's nowhere near enough to do that, I wouldn't have thought, but hey. So we've got dynamic scenes from the movie. They're not really a thing. Game superstar cards, in-depth portraits of the stars, a look behind the scenes, and randomly inserted special effects and LE chase cards. Can we? Oh yes, it's got one of those uh, retail boxes. You can. Hey, look at that. There we are. It's like we're in a news agents in 1994. I'm just glad that my house doesn't smell like that. Right then, let's just go through the whole bloody lot and see what we've got then. We have here many, many packs. Uh, it said specifically on the front, actually. 36 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. You do the maths. I don't care. I'm just going to go through the whole bloody lot. So, no bubblegum. We're lucky on that front. Yep, it's all foil. It's got the big Capcom logo on it. And there is Van Damme going, grrrr. Exciting facts. Did you know, uh, well, you probably know there was a video game made based on this. There are actually two, because the arcade game and the home version, which was on Saturn and PlayStation, are completely different. They use the same graphics, but are written entirely differently from the ground up. It's very strange. I've just remembered also Kenya Sawada is in the film, the Japanese actor. They wanted it to appeal more to the Japanese audience, so like stick Sawada in it, as a character called something like Captain Sawada. He also has the worst move in any of the Street Fighter games uh, from the home version of Street Fighter the movie, where his super move is he just puts his arms in the air and runs forward. With, or I say runs forward, he floats forward, no frames of animation, and does loads of damage. <laughs> Water. 
Perfect. <sighs> Deary me, I've remembered that and my life is ruined. Oh my God, behind the scenes, it's a lot of the crew on uh, Bison's Shadowloo base set. Cool. Um, director Stephen D'Souza. Yay, the entire Street Fighter crew and much of the cast pose inside the vast Bison Command Room set. The crew came from all over the world, including Australia, Thailand, Great Britain, blah, 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 blah. We can't spend this long on all of them, but that's interesting. So that's a behind the scenes. Let's put that in that pile. Oh, there's actually Vega. Yeah, there he is, being all um, on Balrog stage for some reason. Oh, God, it's going to be that sort of card set, isn't it? No attention to detail. And there's a picture of him from the game. The right-hand man for Shadow Lu Tong Kingpin Sagat. Vega will do anything for money, but he won't do that. You know, the meatloaf thing. Um, what else have we got? Is this... Uh, yeah, that's the scene from the film. That's Ryu and Ken who are selling false weapons to Sagat or something. They get captured by Guile who makes them work for... It's all a bit weird. So that's uh, number 10. Can we put these in order, actually? That's number 88, and that's number 67, right? That's what we're going to do. Let's see how much of a set we can get. Vega Superstar, played by Jay Tavari, who's English. Oh, crikey. Well, I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, he looked the part of Vega. It was one of the better things. I seem to recall there's a scene where, like, he's lost his claw and has to make his own one. Anyway, let's not spend too long on these, or we will be here forever. And I don't know about you, but I've got work tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I'm a YouTube bastard. Ah, here's old Van Damme about to kick Rail Hulia in the chest. Just what you need when you're really ill. Um, Guile versus Bison, round one. That's card 31, right. Have we got any rare chase cards or foils yet, guys? I don't think we've got fuck all. There's Ming-Na Wen as Chun-Li. Um, went on to uh, appear in much better films, frankly. Did you know, incidentally, uh, there is a, another Street Fighter film called The Legend of Chun-Li, which was released uh, many years after this, and it's much worse. I mean, like, Street Fighter's really quite a bad film, but The Legend of Chun-Li is absolutely bloody dreadful. Do not watch it. I think I got it on blu-ray and poundland or something mind you i also got the british um street fighter thing assassin's fist on blu-ray and poundland and that was quite good ah uh, things and stuff anyway number one that's number one. Oh, we're starting off with a news flash crisis in shadow loo the toilets are blocked i'm sure that's how it goes uh what else have we got sorry war cancelled okay we'll, we'll have a different one tomorrow oh bloody hell the same card twice in the same pack. Oh, it's that sort of setup, is it, right? That's going to go over to that side, actually, I've decided. And here's some boring stuff. Number 19. Mmm, boring cards. Oh my god, we're going to be here forever, aren't we? Um, I don't care. Because I've got a Street Fighter logo card. Surely this should be number one. How does this work? Uh. Let's have a peek. I don't know, they're quite stuck together. Now that's number 89, inexplicably nearly the last one. Hmm, okay. We've got 88 and 89. What a world we live in. And that one doesn't fit the numbering. How incredibly annoying. Uh, Street Fighters Ryu. Oh, there he is. Looking a bit uh, bulbous chested there. Or barrel chested, you could say. And there's the man playing him with his completely brand new unused leather gloves on. Uh, what's going on here? Make me the perfect warrior. Fair enough. Oh, this is interesting. This is Byron Mann from Hong Kong who plays Ryu. That's interesting because previously we got the Vega card and the uh, actor of Vega card. It's happened again with Ryu. Hmm, is that a sucker going thing? There's a the guy playing DJ. Everybody's favourite character. Uh, a woman shall lead them. Yep. And this. <laughs> That's the facial expression we need to remember Kylie Minogue by, guys. Uh, there we are, there's Chun Li. Oh, in uh, Bison's interview with a madman. Oh dear. I love the uh, Alexander the Great altered uh, painting there with Bison on instead. That's where the. Oh, another. Bl oh, there's no excuse for that, guys. No excuse for that. This, of course, has the infamous line um, where Chun Li is saying, Oh, you came to my village and you murdered my father. And Bison genuinely doesn't remember and just says, Well, 
For you, the day the great bison graced your village was the greatest day of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. Which is kind of a really good line, but um, this maybe wasn't the best vehicle movie for it. Right, 20 goes in there. Okay. Number 30, that uh, goes there. What have we got? 51, 61, 11. Okay. I'm going to stop doing these on camera, actually, and just put these together afterwards, because if not, we will be here for the rest of our lives. So many packets. What's in this one? This is the sort of thing people do on live stream, with like uh, Magic the Gathering cards or something, isn't it? Uh, oh, there we are. We are about to have a bit of a ruck. Um, Bison and Guile face to face. Leader of the pack. It's a stealth boat or something. Here's that card again, because apparently every fucking pack has to have a fucking duplicate. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Ryu versus Vega. It's Ken! Superstar card. Does that mean we have the character card as well? Yes, we do. They do seem to go in pairs, don't they? Beautifully cut out with a pair of scissors around the actor's head there. Who was the actor for that? Uh, Damon Chapper, born in Daytona, Ohio. Oh, look, it's the checklist! Wow! And... There's uh, Wes Studi, uh, quite a good actor there, being pointed at by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hey, we're the Allied Nations because we couldn't be the United Nations for reasons. Okay, fair enough. I wonder which character. When will we get all the characters together in these pairings? You see, the thing is, if they are putting in each pack uh, the character and the card about the actor who plays the character that's obviously being done deliberately so they're controlling what's in the pack so they're deliberately giving us duplicates the shit right here he is e honda so we can have a quick look through we've got uh, screaming van damme hitting a high note there oh no we've got the holy shit we'll get back to that uh, <laughs> yep there's uh blank having strangled somebody there's some shit going on on a set. Uh, okay, there's the same card again, because obviously you must get a duplicate in every goddamn pack. Uh, it's all be down to this one. Yeah! So, we do have the E Honda card and the Blanca card, but also, yep, the Superstar card for Blanca. Notice how the makeup is completely different in these two things. Look, the nose shape is completely different. In fact, it looks like a different actor almost. Um, so yeah, Blanca there. Captain Carlos Blanca, actually captured, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, Robert Mamone. As Carlos Blanca, Mamone spent hours putting on and taking off the makeup that transforms a soldier into a monster. Time is no problem for Mamone, for he is a chronomancer and exists outside of uh, accepted timelines. Um, they, they haven't painted his belly. <laughs> Were they just expecting him to be shown from, like, the nipples up or something? Oh, man. That's, just, that's bad, isn't it? He just looks like the villain from the film The Mask with Jim Carrey in all those years ago. Right, they are going to the side as we continue our purgatory of packs. Oh, here we are. There's Ming-Na Wen and Kylie Minogue together at last. Oh, there's... Uh, they couldn't get Mike Tyson, so they got whoever played this role. They did do his hair in the proper um, Balrog sort of cut there. Well, Tyson cut, really, isn't it? More fighting. Yep, again. The actor card together with the character card. Name, Grand Bush. That's his name, Grand Bush. That's the best fucking name ever. That's amazing. Um, Grand Bush. Yeah, and here's the duplicate again. There is deliberately a fucking duplicate in each of these. I am beyond scandalised. I'm going to travel back to 1994, find the upper deck, whoever made these, and punch every single one of their executives right up the bracket. Deary me. Well, there's some more exciting scenes. That's my favourite one of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme posing near some grills. Marvellous. Right. My God, we're just going to have to jump to get ahead at some point. Aren't we? we will literally be here forever. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is a repeat. Boo. And there's the Honda one again. Oh, this is... Uh... Yeah, doesn't Guile fake his own death at some point? Oh, man, don't make me think about this film. Oh, no, here we are. Look, yep. There is both of those together now. Well, we've already got the uh, that card. So we'll get a shot of that. We've already got that one. 
Hills uh, Rail Julia floating up in the air with his electromagnetic boots or whatever was going on. Uh, yes, that, that is a thing. Uh, nope, that's as a repeat. Right, go on, which character do we get this time? I hope it's my favourite, um, Balrog again. Ugh. Right, we got that one. Oh no, we got Chun Li. Uh, oh, that is Chun Li's card, despite the fact that Kami also appears in it. Okay, that's confusing. Zangief! I forgot Zangief was in it. Yeah, he's like a dim witted henchman type. Um, yep, and there's Ming Na Wen's card. Okay. Wes Studi and DJ find. Is this right at the end of the film? Uh, yeah, 37 maybe. Yeah, and they find like a big um, box at the end of Bison Dollars or something. And realise, of course, they're all completely worthless because Bison has been making his own money. Because, oh good, here's his three fucking boats. Because, you know, everybody wants that boat so much they want to be able to give it to relatives for Christmas as well. Great. Right, I can't remember if we had that one already or not. I suspect we did, actually, didn't we? Oh, that's going to annoy me now. Yes, we did. Right. That can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Go on. Last one I'm opening, and then we're just going to fast forward to the end and see what happens. Oh yeah! It's Ken again. It's that again. <gasps> We've got a foil card, everybody! It's Cammy versus Trooper. <sighs> going to be honest. Not so excited now. Um, Cammy versus Trooper. SF10. That's, they're all just marked SF, are they? Oh no, SF for silver foil or something. Wow. Imagine having a whole... Oh, it's T-Hawk. My God, I'd forgotten T-Hawk was in it. Mainly because he looks nothing like the guy from the game. Wow. And here they are, hiding in some hay. That's that's always fun, I find. Here they are, standing on a grill, and later on in, when they're dressed more like their uh, video game counterparts. Some more boats. And that one, because, yeah, there's got to be at least some repetition, apparently. My God. Uh, so we've got the Superstar, but we haven't got... This is the first one we've got which doesn't have the um, character card along with the actor card. Oh, that's a disappointment. I presume one has been replaced by an amazing silver foil thing. Hooray! Bloody silver cards. Worth more than God these days, obviously. Go on. We're going to do one more. I lied. Street Fighter, Street, Street Fighter logo, Ryu, we've already got, that. there's, there isn't she in Tekken, what? The infiltration is complete, oh, of course it is, yay, there we are, Kami, it's the Kylie Minogue card, go on, let's have a quick uh, read of how they describe Kylie, she is called the Dance Floor Diva, by nobody, and wasn't selected for a role as Kami until two weeks before shooting began, don't admit that stuff guys, <laughs> <laughs> Musically, Minogue has released four albums and 21 singles throughout the world, all of them hits. She has already sold 13 million albums to go along with 11 million singles. Minogue has had five number one hits internationally. For Minogue, it was a magazine cover shoot that decided it for director Stephen D'Souza. Hmm, again, don't admit that. The hardest part of her role to fulfil was to turn a normally petite frame into the muscular build of an Allied Nations Army officer, which she clearly didn't do because she only had two fucking weeks before shooting began. Right, we need you to train and bulk yourself up. How long have I got? Two weeks. <sighs> World domination. Oh, that's from right the end. Um, yeah, as Bison turns out, wasn't killed. Oh no. And his computer allows him to replay world domination because that's a thing. Right there they are going in to threaten him. And again, I think we've already got that card anyway. And that one again because apparently we can't have too many of those. Great. Right. <clears throat> Time's getting on, guys. I'm going to open all the rest of these and we shall see. A. If there are any particularly amusing or boring ones in there, I want to point out. And B, uh, how many of the whole set can we get? Time jump, initiate! So that's 36 packs, eight cards per pack, and we've ended up with all these, and a few more. So little points of interest. The first is that, indeed, pretty much every pack contains at least one duplicate. Uh, some of them contain two duplicates, and one particularly memorable one, having five of these in one pack. So you've got eight cards, and five of them are Van Damme pointing a cone at a man. So that's great. Um, also, yeah, pretty much all of them had a uh, character card together with the actor who played that character on another card. So yeah, that is definitely a thing going on. Here is D'Souza himself directing the film. Notice that he appears to be... 
Well, what can only be described as an extra from Jurassic Park there, so good work. Now, who wants to see all the silver cards? Wait for it. We've got... Um, T-Hawk putting the boot in or something. T-Hawk versus Trooper. We've got Guile versus Blanca. That's really come out well. It looks like shit's the naked eye as well. Uh, Guile versus M. Bison. And, of course... Oh. Oh, yeah, that is silver. It's just very subtly silver, the one we got earlier. Ah, oh, dearie me. Uh, pleasingly, we do have the character card for Dal Sim. Because at the end of the film, his hair gets blown off or something in an explosion. I'm not, I'm not even making that up. At least I got the background right. Um, so, yeah, there's a description of the uh, character from the game. Before his cat. Oh, when I say from the game, I'm thinking more for the film. Wait for it. <clears throat> Before his capture by General M. Bison, Dal Sim was an award winning biophysicist teaching at Calcutta University. Now, he is without his freedom and his family, forced to perform DNA experiments on unwilling prisoners. Dal Sim is a master of Kabaddi, a secret art of mental power and meditation. Kabaddi is so powerful it has only been used for self defence. Dal Sim's wish is to use his techniques in order to destroy the man who has ruined his life, M. Bison. That does not come into play in the film at all. Also, isn't Kabaddi like a sport where you have to run around with the ball or something whilst continuously saying Kabaddi, 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 Kabaddi in order to like control breathing or something? Or have I made that up? And here's the actor and, frankly, how the character appears through most of the film. Well, in the few scenes he appears in. It is uh, Roshan, Se Roshan Seth. <gasps> Seth! He ended up being the villain from Street Fighter 4! My god, one of the most recognisable faces in film, even if you don't know his name. Seth has played opposite such box office stars, blah, 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 yep, in and Jones Temple of Doom and all that. And also, it's good old Sawada! There he is, in his uniform. And there he is in the game because he wasn't in a game until they made one out of this film. Special moves, unknown at this time. New for Street Fighter 1995, Captain Kenzo Sawada, one of Japan's newest motion pictures and martial arts stars, is now a character in one of the hot new video games of the year. Great. And look, here is the actor himself, Kenya Sawada, born in Kanagawa in Japan. One of the newest and brightest stars of Japanese film, blah, 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 blah. Marvellous. Right, the time has come to add these all up and see how much of a set we've got. I'll be back in 12 years. So, oh best beloveds, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I found another dun -dun 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 shiny card. Oh, sorry, <clears throat> special effects card. And I've got to say, it would have been a fool's errand to try and collect all these back in the day, because out of this entire box, we've got one, two, eight, nine, and ten, for they are separately numbered to the others. Hmm. That's good, isn't it? Well, um, yeah, that's... Well, I mean, I don't know how many of these special effects ones there were, but let's face it, I think you'd have been having to work the rest of your life to find one. Also, what are the limited edition chase cards, or the LE chase cards that are mentioned on there? No idea. Just the rare ones? Again, no idea. And also, don't really care. Now, do you want the bad news? I have the entire set of cards, except number 42. <laughs> Here comes a new challenger! Oh shit, son! I did have number 42. I was just going through all the ones which were repeats, and you know what? I'm glad I did, because this had stuck to the back of another one. It is indeed another Rail Julia. So now I can place it in here. Good God, just literally opened it exactly the right uh, place. What are the chances of that happening? Answer extremely high, I imagine, because obviously I had been. Uh playing around with that exact area earlier and uh, yeah lifting it up me at that point because they're less stuck together than the others ah I could have pretended I was magic then but no do 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 a complete bloody set not including the shiny ones we, we don't talk about the shiny ones ah there we are my life is now complete I envy no man Bill Gates will be phoning me up and going, oh, Stu, we're going to look at your cards. And I'll be like, fuck you, Bill. Get your own cards. I remember Windows 8 and Windows ME and Windows Vista. Look, I remember all the bad windows. Fuck off. Um, so, yeah. Wow. That, that, that's, uh, that's something I can put in my CV for future job applications. Owns entire set of Street Fighter the Movie collector's cards. And then they say... In order to get this job, you have to have all the shinies. And I say, you're fucking lunatics. Incidentally, we didn't actually go through all the different types of card. It starts off, obviously, recanting the exciting story of the movie. Um, until it gets to the end. And then it stops. Yeah. Um, 
which I think is the... Uh, I'm looking for that. Yes, there we are, the World Domination. So that is the first 39 cards. And then you get the uh, actor bios there, which goes up to 57. Then you get the character cards, which takes us all the way up to uh, 73. Then behind the scenes cards, which basically fill out and bulk up all the rest, except the last two, which is the logo and the checklist. Well, bloody hell. Uh, I wonder if I can sell these and get a ruby encrusted yacht.